my, my suffering as I got transitioned from Atlanta to back to Ark City and Winfield and not having a dime in my pocket and still barely having two quarters of rub together, I can tell some younger folks, hey, you can still make it. Yes, you can. Hey, my father was right when he told me at a young age to do not fall in love with money. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I did it anyway. <clears throat> and when I got back here, my father himself gave me a second chance. Praise God. Hallelujah. He took care of some bills that I couldn't pay. Praise the Lord. Thank you. When Jesus went to that cross, that's what he did for each and every one of us. We had some bills that we couldn't pay. We had some bills that we couldn't pay. I asked, why me? Why do I have to stand up in front of people and talk? Why me? And he says, why not you? Mm. Uh, Amen. Say that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He says, Thank why you. not you? Yes, yes. And he's called each and every one of us to do the mm. same Amen. thing. Yes, sir. Say that. I say, why me? Because I don't fit into the typical Baptist crowds. I choose to swim upstream. Because in many circumstances, what they're doing is not working. It's not reaching that next generation. There has to be somebody who comes along and does something different yeah, that has yeah. a different approach, some new ideas yeah. that can create a prayer call and connect people around the nation that can put some stuff up on the internet. They can relate with yeah, a sense yeah. of humor and not be condemning yeah. with this message, the gospel, the love of God, of Jesus Christ. We need some more of that. That's why I need some more of my peers here. I'm making fun. I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We're fortunate. Yes, Lord. Texas I am here. He's my sounding board, and we crack jokes. And many times, you know, we'll, we'll be having the same struggles in life and concerns, and we don't have to say a word, and it's comforting just knowing that he's there. He's able to reach some people that, that I can. I appreciate having Candace here. She's able to reach some people that I can't. We have to have some people to be the example, some people to carry the message. Romans chapter 5, which you read during devotion, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we now have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. This is the message that we have to carry out into the world, that if you accept Jesus Christ, you can have peace. Yes, Lord. You yes. no longer have to be subjected to his wrath. You can have peace for while we were still sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. It's serious out there right now. It hurts me to see so many people suffer. Yes, Michael, you know where I live at. How many people die in that neighborhood each week? Mm. Just last Sunday night, my car was broken into. Mm. It's dangerous. This, this is our young folks. Yeah. We see it happening down here, too. Yeah. Do we not? Do we not see them afflicted with, with drugs, yes, with alcohol, meth, weed? Yes, sir. Prostitution is happening yes, sir. down here? Yes, sir. But are we out there offering something, offering them something different? Are we offering them Jesus? Are we telling them that they have a second chance? Because there are some of us in here that see second chances. We see the miracles happen. Deacon McPherson has talked about it many Sundays. He gets, he gets happy and excited and he starts jumping and he says, I just never thought I would see so many miracles happening here at Second Baptist and through Second Baptist. Jennifer, how many miracles do you see there in that hospital? Who, who's responsible for that? It's only God himself. Because there's things that men can't do. You can have the most intelligent doctor in the world who, who, who can practice 
everything that he learned in school, but it's only God that raised that man that gave him breath again. Amen. Amen. Say that truth, amen. If it wasn't for God, the eighth floor would be at Christie, uh, St. Francis would be a, a whole lot more full. That's the hospice ward. But God sees fit that some and many people walk out. He's just purely sitting there waiting for them. I'm just making the plea. Second chances. Yes, Lord. Even Jesus himself said, go tell the disciples and Peter. It was written that way for a reason. Yes. 